television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Strong condemnation of Azerbaijan's military intervention in Artsakh. Agenda of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. The statement of the Artsakh Justice Party. Azerbaijani forces open fire in the direction of Bartanis. Republic of Armenia Ministry of Foreign Affairs denies Azerbaijan's accusation against Armenia. Turkey is sending Syrian militants to Azerbaijan, Reuters and The Guardian reports. The Monte Melkonian cyber army has attacked Azerbaijani government websites. On the morning of September 27, Azerbaijan started a war against Armenian people. After organizing the deplacement of hundreds of jihadists from the Afrin region in Syria, throughout the last week the Azerbaijani armed forces attacked without restraint the territory of the Autonomous Republic of Artsakh. Unfortunately, we can already count the dozens of civilians affected by the shellings, including the women and children. This aggression backed by Turkey is the beginning of a larger war that will lead to bloodshed throughout the Caucasus. This is why Western Armenia calls on everyone to condemn any military aggression to return the parties to the negotiating table based on international peace treaties and international conventions. If the goal is to create a chaos that will pave the way for the barbarity of criminal states, then let us continue in this direction. But everyone will lose. Nothing is stronger than international law, President Erdogan suggested. In this condition, it is time to implement the International Peace Treaty, that is the Treaty of Service, the centenary of which is celebrated this year in a fair and proper manner. This is the voice of the entire Armenian people. The president of Western Armenia, Armen Akabramian, who is currently in Yerevan, condemned the aggression and use of tactical military forces. He is preparing a basis with the authorities of Artsakh and Armenia on the issue of general mobilization called for volunteer fighters from Western Armenia as part of the reserve force. The government of Western Armenia is working to strengthen diplomatic ties with other governments that are not indifferent to legal issues concerning the Armenian people. The situation cannot continue. We can no longer keep our hands folded. France being the co-chair of the Minsk Group and signatory of the Treaty of Service must declare about its support for the Armenian people. It is legally fundamental to return the foundations of an international treaty signed by the old great powers and old parties. You can read the full article on our website. Internal and external issues were discussed during the regular sitting of the Parliament of Western Armenia held from September 8 to 28. The online sitting was held with the participation of President Armen Akabramian, Parliament Speaker Leonardo Basmadian, and Prime Minister Said Amelikan. The Artsakh representative of the Parliament of Western Armenia presented the current situation in Artsakh Republic. During the sitting, the issues of the internal and external volumes of the war unleashed by Azerbaijan with the support of Turkey were discussed. It was decided to send a letter on the issue to 197 parliament around the world. On September 29, it was decided to send a letter to the UN Human Rights Council as well. These kinds of meetings are planned to take place every day. Dear indigenous people living in the Republic of Azerbaijan, Talishans, Lesgins, Avarians, representatives of other national minorities, the Artsakh Justice Party addresses you. We have lived side by side for centuries as indigenous people. We have never had problems with each other. Today your people are the majority of the surnames of the victims list in Azerbaijan. As a result of the mobilization, you are primarily called up for the military service. In a number of regions of Azerbaijan where you live, your internet connection has been cut off. We realize that this war is not your war. This is a war imposed on Armenia by the political power of Azerbaijan. We call on Talishians, Lesgins and Avarians living abroad to try to persuade their compatriots living in Azerbaijan to cross the Dagestan and not to come and fight and die against our Armenian people. We must show a united will, not making sacrifices. As an indigenous people, you have the right to live on your own land and to have the stated. The Azerbaijani armed forces opened fire on the Vartanis military unit of the Armenian armed forces and used their force in the direction of the military positions. Spokesperson of the Armenian Minister of Defense Shushan Stepanyan informs. The Azerbaijani armed forces fired on military civilian infrastructure in Vartanis region, including targeting civilians as a result of which one civilian was killed. This section of the enemy was preceded by the misinformation of the Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan that the armed forces of the Republic of Armenia had allegedly fired rockets from the Vartanis region on the Dashkesan region of Azerbaijan. The Armenian Foreign Ministry denied the reports calling it misinformation aimed to paving the way for expanded geography of military actions. 
Armenia's foreign ministry denies the accusation of the Azerbaijani defense ministry against Armenia on striking the Azerbaijani region of Tashkestan from the Armenian region of Artanis. Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Anna Nagdalian said on social media, This information is a complete lie and aims at preparing a ground for the expansion of the geography of military operations as well as conducting an aggression against Armenia. We strongly condemn Azerbaijan's attempts of further destabilizing the regional peace and security. Azerbaijan's military political leadership has the full responsibility for the consequences of these attempts, she said. On September 27, early morning, the Azerbaijani military launched a massive cross-border attack on Artsakh, including on civilian settlements. Peaceful settlements are also under shelling, including the capital city of Stepanakert. Turkey is sending Syrian militants to Azerbaijan, Reuters and The Guardian report. With this step, Turkey opens the third front of competition with Moscow after Syria and Libya, The Guardian writes. Turkey is sending Syrian militants to Azerbaijan to support Baku in the clashes with Armenians, Reuters report. The militants heading to Azerbaijan told the authoritative agency about it. Reuters in particular managed to talk the two of them. They claimed on condition of anonymity that they were going for money. The militant said that many like them had agreed to those conditions. Azerbaijan had just spread the denial when another authoritative media platform, The Guardian, published an article on the same subject. The author of the article is the Istanbul correspondent of the magazine who received first-hand information from the three Syrian militants who admitted to signing a contract with Turkish private company to work as a border guard in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijani government websites are under attack. One of them is the website of the Ministry of Defense. This is reported by the Facebook page of Montemelkunyan Cyber Army. Yesterday, a number of Armenian news websites were attacked by Azerbaijani hackers, but the normal operation of Armenian websites was restored very quickly. Dear compatriots, in order not to spread fake news from the Azerbaijani media, follow only the Armenian official media. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Maratuk Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.